there, friends and family. <laughs> Hashtag Boss Guy coming back at you live with uh, Taco Tuesday. It's not the not the tacos that you're thinking about. These are some really good, healthy alternative to Taco Tuesday, guys. You know, and that's the problem with uh, a lot of people being overweight. They're getting too much vitamin T. Vitamin T. Tacos, tamales, tortillas, you name it. That's, that's, that's what's going on nowadays. So this is a, a different alternative here to give you guys some ideas how to jazz up your tacos. Now, what we're going to do today is you can do this for breakfast. You can do this for, for evening. I even like to have eggs at night. Why? Because they're a good, clean protein, guys. So a really big important factor of the meals is breakfast in the morning. Breakfast should be your biggest key meal. Because why? You have the rest of the day to work it off. So when you get to your lunch, you have a more of a medium light lunch, okay? And then once you get to your dinner, then you have more of a little lighter lunch, more filling, get more fiber at night. That way you're you're not as um, cravings. It, it, it controls your satiety. So the more fiber at night, the better. So that'll keep you full longer, guys. Let me start with one of the bases here. Uh, get some gloves here because... I'm actually doing some, we're going to be doing some live cooking on the grill. I've got two different pans right now on warm heat right now. So I've got some ground pork and you can do ground pork, you can do ground chicken. I like ground pork because it's, it's clean, it's lean. Uh, ground pork is the other white meat just like turkey is so. Let's slice this up real quick. And of course I got this in my HB. This is about a pound. This is more than I need for tonight, but what I'm going to do with this, guys, is I'm actually going to do a chorizo from scratch. So, this chorizo I'm going to be using is ground pork. So, what I'm going to do is kind of crush this up a little bit there, okay? I've got some seasonings here. I'm going to show you right now. Got some apple cider vinegar. We're going to do about a quarter cup. So, like I said, this is a pound right here of ground pork. I'm going to take a quarter cup of this apple cider vinegar. Put it in there. Gonna get a, I got some salt. Get my teaspoon. One teaspoon of salt in there. I've got a chipotle chili pepper powder, guys. You can do as much as you want in this. I'm, I would say do for a pound, I would say do a teaspoon. But since this is for an evening, I'm only going to do half a teaspoon just to kind of keep it a little bit on the lower side, especially if you guys suffer from GERD or acid reflux. You can switch out the peppers. You can do different peppers in there, guys. You can do a chili powder and stuff like that. Now, I've also got some sage, okay? I'm going to do it, uh, a teaspoon of sage, too. Get that in there. Get them in. Got some thyme also. You do half a teaspoon of thyme. Then I'm going to do about another half a teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper. Okay. Like I said, I've got, I've got a little uh, pan going nice and warm over here. I'm going to bring the fire up to about a medium, put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. I'm going to throw some chopped garlic in there. You can use garlic powder if you don't have fresh garlic, but I like to use fresh garlic. So we'll throw that in there. Fresh garlic is good for the heart too. i got some chopped onions, white onion. You can use yellow onion for a little more sweeter flavor. And that, just the garlic and onion alone, the aromatics in that is phenomenal. If you like it a little spicier, you can slice up some jalapenos. You can uh, put some chili peppers in there. You can do different types of peppers and stuff. I'm going to keep it simple. This is a really simple recipe here. But it's loaded with flavor. And you can do this, like I said, with chicken. You can do this with beef. And this is a good little how you make chorizo. Breakfast tree. You can do this for breakfast chorizo. Okay? You want to get a good little mix while this is sauteing over here. We'll mix this up really good. And like I said, this is a lot of 
of meat for tonight, but I'm going to actually use the, the leftover in the morning for breakfast. So I'll take that, pop that on top. No longer need my gloves. So we'll let this brown here. So while this is browning, I like to flatten it out to get some nice little good little browning on all sides and we'll, we'll mix it up and we'll turn it around in a minute. Like I said, I got that at about a medium heat, a medium heat. So like I said, this is ground pork. All I added was some little ground uh, chipotle uh, chili pep uh, powder, thyme, sage, a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there, salt, pepper, and fresh garlic and fresh onion. So we're going to let this sit for a little bit while that's cooking. I'm going to raise it up just a bit. I'm going to talk to you about what else we're going to do in this, guys. All right. So I've got some eggs. I like to use organic, cage-free, uh, hormone-free eggs. And uh, so this is kind of like a little breakfast taco that I'm doing here. Get a couple of eggs cracking. I add a little salt to my eggs, a little pepper to my eggs, and I like to add a little paprika to my eggs too, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm also to give my eggs a little fluffy. I've got some organic almond milk. I'm just going to put about a quarter cup in there. And what that does, it makes your eggs kind of fluff, real fluffy, real light after we beat them. I'm going to get a good uh, air to your eggs here to get them nice and fluffy. You got a nice blended color there. Of course, the more you whip them, see, you got, see those little lines there? You want to kind of get rid of those little lines. So you want to get a good, nice, solid mix in there. Okay. So now I'm going to get a little bit of unsalted butter. And that's basically for my eggs. And you can do non-stick, uh, you can do a non-stick uh, spray also, some canola or something like that. I'll let that melt in my pan. Here's all that chorizo is coming around here. And I wish you guys could smell this. It smells fantastic, guys. And like I said, you could substitute this, guys. You could uh, substitute for, you know, ground chicken. You could substitute for ground turkey. And you can do ground beef. And this is pork, guys. You can even do ground sirloin or even Angus. So there's different options. It doesn't have to be like I'm doing chorizo style uh, with eggs. You know, you could do it more of a, a uh, dinner meal or a lunch meal. You could even do uh, chicken strips if you want, guys. There's some different ways to jazz this up. But remember, this is going to be a light option for you guys. And this only takes about a good six to eight minutes to cook the pork. You want to make sure the pork is really cooked really well. Once you get rid of that pink there. See my butter's coming out melting pretty good there too. And I like doing these videos guys because one, it's, it, I'm, I'm kind of helping you guys, educate you guys that, you know, you can pretty much do all this really cool stuff at home. Uh, this is raw video. We're not doing any magic here. Yeah, we're doing it from you know beginning to end because I want you to see that we're not skipping any steps. I want you to see that you know you could do this yourself at home, and this is why I'm doing this because there's healthier options out there, guys. You know, I don't know how how, how long do I have in this video right now? I should say the time, then, but no, okay. Well, we, we maybe what about maybe not even ten minutes maybe on the video, guys. So you you if you have these ingredients, like I said, you can do different options for the ingredients. So now I'm just going to pour my eggs to the pan there. And 
and we'll just kind of keep stirring them a little bit to fluff them up a little bit. Now, I don't like to cook my eggs all the way through. I like them a little soft, which is kind of uh, called easy cooking. You can see this. That's the cool thing about getting the eggs right. It's just kind of keep stirring it. Kind of almost like doing risotto, you know? Hey guys, if you guys are viewing this, let me know where you're viewing this from. If you're watching this live, drop a one in the comments below. And if you're watching this on replay, just put replay on there, guys. Let me know what you guys think about my videos. Let me know if there's something that you guys would like to see, a challenge that you guys want to see that if you find a challenge at home cooking. Uh, we're going to do different alternatives as far as tips and tricks in the home. I've got a watermelon up here that I'm going to be doing the watermelon uh, margarita style. So my ground pork chorizo is pretty much ready. Eggs are pretty much ready. Got about maybe 30, about 35 more seconds left on these eggs. I'm going to shut this off already on the eggs. And I'm going to let them finish cooking on the side. Now for my chorizo, I've got a little pan here, a little bowl with a little strainer. And I'm going to strain the grease from the, from the chorizo. Now, you could jazz these up in different ways. And I'm going to show you. I've got a couple of different toppings here that we can, we can jazz this up with. Without, you know... Keep it without it being boring. But, you know, you got somebody that you want to do like a little brunch style or, or something different. You want, to, you want to have somebody over for breakfast, your parents, you know, or that, that girlfriend you're trying to impress, guys, or, or, that, or that boyfriend you're trying to, trying to hook up with and say, you know, hey, look, I can cook, marry me. You know, this, this would kind of blow their minds. So I got this little draining here. Okay. Now, I'm going to get my eggs and move them off to this side here. And I'll put my eggs right here. So, the different option as far as this tacos, why, why is it going to be healthy? What's the different option? One, I'm not doing taco shells. What I'm doing is I got live bib lettuce. What do I mean by live? It's because it's actually still living, guys. It actually has a root in there. I've already washed this off. You can get this. As long as you, it comes in a little plastic box and you can keep it in your refrigerator. I've already washed this off, like I said. So, it actually can still grow as, as you're keeping it in your refrigerator, guys. And you can actually take the stem off and and uh, plant it, guys. You know, if you got that green thumb. So basically, I'm just going to take a couple of these leaves, guys. These are your tacos, uh, where I'm going to lay my, my ingredients for the tacos, guys. And there's, like I said, there's different stuff that you can do. Let's jazz these up to make them different, guys. So, not hard to do, very simple. What I'm going to do here is, got my eggs. I'm going to decorate one plate here, and then I'm going to let Jessica fix her own hair, because this is our dinner for tonight, and Jax will fix his own tacos too. So we get some eggs there, and I only use like four eggs for, for, two, for two of us here. And like I said, you can do different items. It doesn't have to be eggs. You can do different proteins. You can have... Um, you can do chicken, you can even do chicken breast, chop them up, grill them. You can mix a little Asian sauce on them. You can do a little Asian style on them. I've also got, now we're going to get the little chorizo here. A little chorizo on there. Like I said, this is in the raw. There's not, there's no magic in the, on these videos. I'm, I'm doing this straight from, from start to finish. You guys can see how easy how much time you really need to prep for this 
And like I said, this, you can control the heat with the chorizo. You can jazz it up in different ways. You can. I've added onion. I added uh, some fresh garlic to this. Some apple cider vinegar, fresh uh, sage, fresh thyme. Uh, so like I said, this is your basic little basis of, of, of the play here. Now, what are we going to do to jazz this up? How are we going to make this different? Well, let me show you some ideas. Okay. okay, you can jazz it up with pico de gallo. You can jazz it up with some black beans. I'm going to put the black beans on mine. Let me show you the options there. I'm going to do a little pico de gallo. Get some avocado in here. even get some sriracha sauce. You can you can jazz it up any which way you want pretty much. So these are some easy samples guys. These are really light. They're actually filling guys. You can do different you can you can take this in different directions guys. Like I said you can use ground chicken. You can use chicken breast. Dice it up. Chop it up. Throw some water chestnuts in it. Throw some carrots and throw some uh, ginger. Uh, you can do this for uh, breakfast, you can do this for lunch, even dinner. So there's so many different options that you guys can get from this. You can go from this, guys. You can make it as spicy as you want, less spicy, guys. Remember, there's options out there. There's ways that you can not have to change your complete lifestyle, guys, on eating to actually make a difference in your life. Believe it, if you have this at night, you're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel healthier. You're not gonna be over overeating and, and, and uncomfortable all night, guys. This is good for you. This is healthy. Um, depending which way you go, this only costs you about two dollars and thirty cents a serving, maybe less. It all depends on how you jazz it up, guys. Guys, if you got if you really like these videos, guys, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like my comments. Turn on not notifications on the Facebook, guys. We're doing more recipes to come, cocktails to come, motivational videos, guys. Love yourselves, guys. This is your one chance at life. Love your vessel. Your body is your car. You gotta treat it like you would, like the way we take care of our vehicles. We're, this is where our bodies are more important than the material things that we have. This is how we get around. This is how we pay for those material things, guys. Guys, thank you guys for watching. Peace, love with you guys.